You are listening to KST podcast. This is a short, crisp, concise, exam-oriented, edited editorial for civil services aspirants. In this podcast, we are going to talk about why Russia is using hypersonic missile in Ukraine. Source for the content is Man Aman Singh China's article for the Indian Express. The Russian Ministry of Defense announced on 17th of March that it had used a hypersonic missile for the first time in the ongoing conflict with Ukraine. The Kinzhal aviation missile system with hypersonic aeroballistic missiles destroyed a large underground warehouse containing missiles and aviation ammunition in the village of Deliatine in the Ivano-Frankivsk region, Defense Ministry spokesman Igor Konashenkov had said. Now, what is a hypersonic missile? A hypersonic missile is a weapon system which flies at least at the speed of Mach 5, that is five times the speed of sound and is maneuverable. The maneuverability of the hypersonic missile is what sets it apart from a ballistic missile as the latter follows a set course or a ballistic trajectory. Thus, unlike ballistic missiles, hypersonic missiles do not follow a ballistic trajectory and can be maneuvered to the intended target. The two types of hypersonic weapon systems are hypersonic glide vehicles, that is HGV, and hypersonic cruise missiles. The HGV are launched from a rocket before gliding to the intended target, while the hypersonic cruise missile is powered by air-breathing high-speed engines or scramjets after acquiring their target. Now, what are the advantages of hypersonic missiles? According to a former commander of U.S. Strategic Command, General John Hyten, Hypersonic weapons can enable responsive, long-range strike options against distant, defended or time-critical threats such as road mobile missiles when other forces are unavailable, denied access or not preferred. He made this statement while testifying before the U.S. Congressional Committee on Armed Services. Conventional hypersonic weapons use only kinetic energy, that is energy derived from motion, to destroy unhardened targets or even underground facilities. Now, are hypersonic missiles detectable in flight? A Congressional Research Service report on hypersonic missiles released in October 2021 states that hypersonic weapons could challenge detection and defense due to their speed, maneuverability, and low altitude of flight. The report states that ground-based radars or terrestrial radars cannot detect hypersonic missiles until late in the flight of the weapon. This delayed detection makes it difficult for the responders to the missile attack to assess their options and to attempt to intercept the missile. The Congressional report notes that some analysts have stated that the United States of America's current command and control model for missile defense would be incapable of processing data quickly enough to respond to and neutralize an incoming hypersonic missile. Now, which countries possess hypersonic weapons or are in process of developing them? Apart from Russia, which announced its uh, hypersonic missile Kinzel or Dagger in 2018, has now used it for the first time in battle conditions in Ukraine. China, too, is reportedly in possession of this weapon system and has twice used it to circumnavigate the globe before landing near a target in August 2021. The Russian Kinzel missile is said to be a modification of its Iskander missile and was test fired from a MiG 31 aircraft in July 2018, striking at a target. 500 miles away. As per Russian media reports, the Kinzel has a top speed of Mach 10 with a range up to 1200 miles when launched from a MiG 31. Russia is also said to be using the missile on Su 34 long range fighter and is working towards mounting it on 222M3 strategic bomber. China is said to have tested a 8GV in August 2021, launched by a Long March rocket. There are reports that China may use this weapon system by mating conventionally armed 8GVs with the DF-21 and DF-26 missiles that it possesses. China has also extensively tested the DFZF 8GV with a range of 1,200 miles and is said to have fielded it in 2020. According to U.S. defense officials, quoted in the congressional report, China has also successfully tested Starry Sky 2, that is, Xing Gong 2, a nuclear-capable hypersonic vehicle prototype in August 2018. In the U.S., the hypersonic weapons are being developed under its Navy's conventional prompt strike program, as well as through Army, Air Force and Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. While the US, Russia and China are in advanced stages of hypersonic missile programs, India, 
France, Germany, Japan and Australia too are developing hypersonic weapons. Now, what is known about the Indian hypersonic missile program? The congressional report states that India is also developing an indigenous dual capable that is conventional as well as a nuclear hypersonic cruise missile as part of its hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle program and has successfully tested a Mach 6 scramjet in June 2019 and September 2020. The report notes that India operates approximately 12 hypersonic wind tunnels and is capable of testing speeds up to Mach 30. That's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. To join KSG in the courses and to crack the ICE exam, visit ksgindia.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on ksgindia.com.